let us discuss about the nature and scope of organization behavior so now we are going to discuss the scope of organization behavior this is included individual behavior group behavior and organization structure so first one organization be, uh, individual behavior so individual behavior the mix of response internal and external stimulus the person react on that situation different emotions and different uh, situations like for example anger and happiness if this is um, about uh, we are going to study about the individual behavior this is under personality so personality means the psychological characteristics the person how it will be react on that situation on their uh, the person behavior on their mood so it will be move on the organization it's i am coming coming to that perception organization we are going to main focus the people understanding the human behavior how it will be move on to that employee and and their feelings their thoughts and how it will be uh, respond on his work environment so it is studied about the the perception and coming to the values and attitude so how it will be behave to the uh, um, managers how it will be behave to the higher officials their attitude so this is come under we are going to study about uh, their individual behavior and we are going to learn uh, next to next thing learning learning means so what are the new concepts you are going to learn in that organization and how it will be uh, move on their organization how it will be do that uh, um effective manner in, in that organization so motivation every organization it will be successful in that organization every manager should motivate the subordinate and it will be motivating the employees definitely they will inc increase their employee performance automatically then increase the organization performance and coming to the group behavior their thoughts and attitudes and opinions they collecting of uh, these thoughts and uh, attitudes so we are going to in including the organization uh, aspects so we are going uh, then we are going to take in the whatever we are going to take the decision it will be all acceptable nature into that organization so first one group be, uh, work group and dynamics so every organization should have uh, norms and con conditions in in that organization so whatever the decisions we are going to take in that public or employees whatever so very dynamic manner and and it, it will be implemented to that organization so and coming to that communications communication helps to to contact with the each other and to contact with the employees it will be maintain the good relations so definitely it, it will be helps to the communications communication it is a vital role to play the organization and coming to the leadership the very organizations to maintain the leadership qualities like for example to maintain their employees how, how it will be maintained to that uh, organization those are the leadership qualities to uh, most important for every organization and uh, more so and as well as whatever the de uh, de uh, decisions we are going to take into that organization so definitely the people society and uh, all aspects we are going to uh, uh, accept it into that every decisions and coming to that organization structure so organization structure collection of attitudes and opinions and thoughts in that organization so let us we are going to discuss about the organization climate organization climate the set of priorities and as well as directly or indirectly with their working environment and rules and regulations into that organization so for example the psychological conditions psychological conditions and employee for doing their work they are increasing their performance automatically employee will be satisfied so and every employee for doing their work in better manner on on his working environment so climatical conditions is very good so automatically they doing the work in smooth manner and coming to the organization culture organization culture there there uh, there will be collecting of expectations values 
and as well as the every organization should have a uh, reaching the goals so that much of uh, attitude we are going to expecting definitely then it will be uh, towards to improving the organization effectiveness so that much of uh, uh, cultures that will be create so definitely organizations will be it will be developed and coming to the organization change so so if it is uh, change their organization system new new policies new skills new thoughts new opinions so based upon the situation so then it will be change their organization aspects and coming to the nature of organization behavior so in that organization how employee prediction and control of human behavior so it will be study of human behavior so it can be developed there it will be it can motivate their employees so automatically so it will be increase their employee performance and the totally we are going to study about the human behavior and to apply the such knowledge to improve the organization effectiveness and let us we are going to discuss about the uh, separate field of study and not discipline only so in the every organization so then I, it will be concentrate on uh, some aspects then the a, a, a separate field of study and not a discipline it is an accepted science and in that field of study we are going to investigate the multidisciplinary approach so it is not only one discipline it is a multidisciplinary approach so and we are going to combine all aspects we are going to including in that organizations that is called a, a separate field of study and not discipline only next coming to the interdisciplinary approach so in that interdisciplinary approach so we are going to focus a uh, study of human behavior and as well as society also and it will be combined study of human behavior the interface between the society also sociology also this included psychology and sociology and anthropology let us we are going to discuss about the psychology that means psychology means uh, so the psychological conditions how it will be behave uh, with, with their employees and how it will be react with their employees so this is come under the psychological aspects and coming to the sociology sociology means uh, the study of human behavior it, it will be linked with the society that means uh, uh, social culture their attitude their work environment so this is come under the sociology and coming to the anthropology so anthropology means there um, so it, it will be discussed about uh, human beings and then uh, and then work environment so like for example on his environment then we are going to do doing their works in smooth manner climatical condition it, it not be supported to the employee so then it will not doing the work in smooth manner and the human beings and as well as work environment so both the conditions are it will be accepted then uh, so it will be increase the organization effectiveness that is called anthropology then next coming to the applied science applied science means uh, so every organization we are going to follow some rules and regulations it is uh, it is implemented accept, accepted uh, science and as well as to implementing their any decisions and to solve the organization for problems for uh, related of uh, human beings to solve uh, how it will be solve their organi uh, organization problems to analyze to investigate to interpret their uh, situations to solve their organization problems so it, it will come some under uh, applied science and normative science normative science is it, uh, it is in a positive science it is in a cause effective relationship and social accepted goals social as aspected goals means uh, 
so then individually we are going to accept the individually and social goals so that means uh, every organization so we are going to take their decisions or policies or anything then it will be accepted to the individual and society also and it will be um, developed in their organization effectiveness and coming to the humanistic and optimistic approach humanistic approach so working with the organization it deals with their feelings thoughts and human beings it will be concentrate on humanitarian approach like for example it will be concentrate on uh, they uh, it will be focused on their thoughts and feelings so then it will be taking the decisions and coming to the optimistic approach based on his environment and we are going to take the decisions so this is the optim humanistic and optimistic approach and coming to the total system approach so total uh, system approach it is we are going to focus on organization every organizations we are going to follow some rules and regulations it will be considered all aspects it will be considered and it will be take take the decisions to implement it into that organization so then then only so uh, uh, to towards to improving the organization eff effectiveness this is all about uh, nature and nature of organization behavior